Hi guys, it's Darren here from Deep Blue Apps and Utopian Games. We've got a brand new tower defence template here. It's really, really nice and as always it's very easy to customise. With this one I've put notes in, in a lot of the actors, um, because I've had quite a few requests to put some notes in, just to let you know what's going off. You can see we can't actually place the tower on the path, it won't let you. So we've got to um, place it in on the ground, so to speak, which is very similar to the other tower defence templates. Now you can see here, I'm just going to show you what happens if we die. If one of these enemies gets to the end and gets out of the screen, you will actually die and it will be game over. You can see your um, your little uh, tower there, your little gun goes back to the start as well. This red thing around it, this is the radius. This is where you will actually be firing. If any enemies become in this radius, then they will actually be shot. Now I'm just going to let it go to wave 2. You need 100 points to get to wave 2. You've seen I've got a top score because I beat my last score and that's why the white banner at the top uh, was flashing just to let me know that I've beat my last score. Um, let me tell you a few things about it while we're getting to wave 2. Um, it's got obviously custom fonts, it's got save and load top score. It's very easy to customise this one because we've basically got a start point and a finish point and in between that we've got waypoints. Um, I've got about four or five set up for this level and you can just basically move those waypoints around so you can have different shaped paths, you can have different levels you don't have to just have a simple one like this um, later on in the video I'll show you a more complex path system that we've got set up so now wave two you notice that the enemies have changed colour and I've got another gun but not only have they changed colour there will be more of them in wave one there was five now there's going to be six um, but it will only give you a maximum of six enemies on, on screen at all time, which is really nice. And <clears throat> they now take two hits um, to kill, whereas in wave one, they took one hit to kill. I'm just going to try and get to uh, wave three. And we've got a super gun now. Now, you notice the radius on this one is a lot bigger. So if I position this, um, if I position this one here, then it will actually cover cover a wider range. It'll get the top corner and the bottom corner of this path. And I'll just show you this one in action because it does actually spin and fire a bit faster than the standard guns. Now we've got a boss. Now this boss takes 50 hit points. This has come on wave four. Again, you can change this to what you want, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to kill it 50 times, shoot it 50 times by the time it gets to the bottom. Oh, just managed to do it. Um, but yeah, I've got bosses in there as well. And again, very easy to change when you want the bosses to appear, um, when you want the waves to increase. You can see for testing purposes, I've just got it to every 100. But um, like I've said, you can change that um, to whatever you want. And yeah, really nice template, very easy to understand. I've got notes in all the actors, and we're going to have a special offer on this one again for this weekend. And if you haven't already tried it, check out our Cookie Match 3 type template, which has done really, really well over the last uh, night. So yeah, we've got uh, two new templates in two days and I hope you have fun with them guys and thanks for the support over at deepblueapps.com and I'll speak to you soon.